This is officially the end of a spectacular series. I have started the Skill Items Explained series one year ago. Covered the normal class drivers back in April 2022. Then covered the super class drivers in June 2022. Then covered the high-end drivers from the New York to Ninja 2021 window in November 2022. Then covered the high-ends plus added on super drivers from the April-May 2021 Sydney to Spring 2023 window back in May 2022. It was fun covering the drivers and why they have their particular skill item. However, you know what they say, all great things must come to an end. On September 11th, 2023, Nintendo announced that from the 2023 Battle Tour onwards, there will be no new content added to Mario Kart Tour. No new tracks, no new characters, nothing. This series has been a wild ride, and because of this, it is only fitting that I explain the remaining characters with skill items that I haven't discussed yet. That being the ones that were added from the 2023 Bowser Tour to 4th Anniversary. Because of this window, this part is probably the shortest part of the High Ends Edition. And as I am going through the list, there is a bit of a spoiler. After going through every tour in the 2023 Bowser Tour to 4th Anniversary, there are a lot of items that belong to a driver that is self-explanatory, except for one, and it is very dumb, and you'll know in an instant who I am talking about. That basically covers all there is with the intro stuff to this video, so as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos, do pick up some merch from my shop, as well as join the channel. Without further ado, this is it. Time to explain the final set of characters for the final part of the Skill Items Explained series. Before going on with the high ends, for one final time, we have some new super drivers that were introduced from the 2023 Bowser Tour to the 4th Anniversary Tour window. In tour order, these new super drivers include Red Birdo from Princess, Yellow Shy Guy from Night, Yellow Yoshi from Sunshine, Green Birdo from Vacation, and Purple Toe Pig Crew from Summer 2023. Red Birdo and Yellow Yoshi have their respective eggs, which is self-explanatory. Yellow Shy Guy has triple bananas because bananas are yellow. Green Birdo has Fire Flower. And this one is a bit of a stretch. But it is the only reasoning that I can come up with with Green Birdo. Green Birdo could resemble shrubbery and forest fires are a thing. If you have a better explanation, please put it down in the comments. Because like I said, that is the only reasoning I have. And Purple Toad Pit Crew has Gigabomb because of the explanation that I made with Purple Me Outfit from the second part, where the Gigabomb is blue in color, and blue is one of the primary colors needed to make purple. It is now time to list the final chunk of high-end drivers in this portion of the series. As always, I will be starting off by listing the items in item alphabetical order, where there are no drivers with these items. Since I am only covering the drivers from the Bowser 2023 to 4th Anniversary Tours window, these items include Birdo's Egg, Bomb Cannon, Capsule, Gigabomb, Hammer, Lucky 7, Super Bell, Tanuki Leaf, and Yoshi's Egg. And now, the final list of drivers from Bowser 2023 to fourth anniversary, still in item alphabetical order. The first is the banana barrel. There is only one high end from Bowser 2023 to fourth anniversary, and that character being the Lime Me outfit. This is because freshly picked bananas are sometimes lime green in color. However, they are mostly shipped in boxes than in barrels. Trust me, I work in a grocery store. Next up is the Boomerang, 
Now, I want to point out that there were drivers that were in the April, May 2021 Sydney Tour to Spring 2023 window that I just forgot. Boomerang was one of the items with a driver that I forgot, with that being Yoshi Kangaroo. So, to make it fair, I am including Yoshi Kangaroo in this part, as well as including Pauline Cowgirl and Donkey Kong Gladiator. Yoshi Kangaroo, because of the Aborigines, who are indigenous people in Australia, used boomerangs to hunt animals, kangaroos included. I tend to find boomerangs having sharp edges like sharp edges on swords, which is what I stated with Mario Samurai and Luigi Knight from the previous part. Because of this, Donkey Kong Gladiator having boomerang makes sense because Roman gladiators use swords to fight, and Pauline Cowgirl because the boomerang can act as a lasso and cowgirls and cowboys spin lassos. Next up is the Bowser shell. There is only one driver with this item and it is the final me outfit to ever be introduced in Mario Kart Tour. With that being the Koopa Clown me outfit. Let me tell you, the reasoning for this is honestly really, really genius. This is because Bowser and Bowser Jr along with the other Koopalings, even though that they don't have Bowser Shell, fly in the Koopa Clown car, circling around the Mushroom Kingdom, kidnapping Princess Peach in the process. Which makes it ironic for Princess Peach to be driving this vehicle in the Mario Kart series. Next up is the Bubble. There are only two high-end drivers with the Bubble, and they are the Lemmy Me Outfit and the Fishbone Me Outfit. The Lemmy Me Outfit is self-explanatory, and the Fishbone Me Outfit because the Fishbone is an undead skeletal version of the Cheap Cheap, and the Cheap Cheap Me Outfit also has the bubble. Next up is the Coin Box, and just like with the Boomerang, there is a driver that I forgot to include in the previous installment, with that character being Mario Tuxedo. Him along with Wiggler Gold and Luigi Gold Knight have this item. I know surprisingly, not a lot of coin box drivers in this part. Mario Tuxedo because everything about a wedding is expensive, from dress wear, to the reception, to the wedding itself. And the gold characters because, as I said before, they are gold as well as the coins. Next up is the Dash Ring. Another scenario, just like with Coin Box and Boomerang, I forgot a driver from the previous installment of the series, with that being the Roaring Racer Me Outfit. It, along with Ludwig Me Outfit, has this item. Roaring Racer Me Outfit because the Roaring Racer resembles Singapore's Mare Lion statue, which is based off of a lion, and lions are known to be very speedy. And Ludwig Me Outfit is self-explanatory. Next up is the Double Bombs, to which there is only one high end with the item, and that is the Waluigi Me Outfit which is self-explanatory. Next up is the Fire Flower. High ends with this item include Orange Me Outfit and Gold Mario. Orange Me Outfit because fires are normally orange and red in color but mostly orange. And Gold Mario because, and I found it from one of my admins on my Discord server, to reference the gold flower from New Super Mario Bros. 2. Plus, it is nothing more than a clone of a clone that also has fire flower. And I want to mention something real quick. I am glad Gold Mario doesn't have coin box because that will make the game a little bit too broken. If Gold Mario had coin box, he can just suck up the coins in his path. Next up is the giant banana. High ends with this item include Wiggler, Wiggler me outfit, and Morton me outfit. Wiggler because Wiggler is a giant, especially on Maple Treeway, and because of Wiggler has giant banana, this makes the Wiggler me outfit self-explanatory as well as Morton me outfit also being self-explanatory. Next up is the heart. High ends with this item include Pink me outfit, Wendy me outfit, and Daisy me outfit. Wait a second! No, no, no. No, not, not, not you, Seamus. Ah, poo. Daisy Me Outfit doesn't have heart unlike Daisy. It has triple bananas and it is very dumb. 
I'll get to that explanation later. But anyway, pink me because hearts are pink in color, and Wendy me outfit is self-explanatory. Next up is the ice flower. There are two drivers with the ice flower, that being the light blue me outfit and blooper me outfit. Light blue me outfit because the ice flower is light blue in color, and blooper me outfit because bloopers normally live in deep waters of the earth and the waters are always freezing. Next up is the mushroom cannon. High ends with this item include Mario black suit and Monty Mole me outfit. Monty Mole me outfit is self explanatory, and Mario black suit was a bit of a problem. I had trouble coming up with a good explanation for this one, but one of my favorite Discord admins, YX4V, told me that if I needed help, don't hesitate to DM him. When Mario Black Suit was released in the Summer 2023 tour, I could not think of a good reasoning for Mario Black Suit having Mushroom Cannon, so I reached out to YX4V for a good reason. He was stumped at first, but then came back with a reasoning saying that because of early data mines and ID gaps that were found in the files, which fun fact, I stopped believing in data mines after We Move You Highway and We Daisy Circuit's introduction in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. He was an early driver, probably has Mushroom Cannon to be a less special version of Musician Mario, even though that Mario Musician has double bombs. However, I could not think of a better reason, so I went off with YX4V's reasoning, but if you have another reason, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments, because that would sure help me out a lot. Next up is the Triple Bananas, to which there is only one driver with the item, and it is the Daisy Me outfit. Ugh. I still have no idea the concept with Nintendo's decision with this one. I said this multiple times after Daisy Me Outfit's introduction in the Princess Tour, and I'll say it again. Daisy Me Outfit with triple bananas honestly makes zero sense. Like, why does this Me Outfit that is based off of an original driver have a different skill item? With Daisy herself having the heart item. This is the only time this happened. But I have this saying and I want you to say it with me. It's Nintendo. What are you going to do about it? So my best explanation with Daisy Me Outfit having triple bananas. Is Daisy having three courses named after her. And all three courses are tropical like. Daisy Circuit. Daisy Cruiser, and Daisy Hills. Next up is the second to last item before the series is concluded, and that being the triple green shells. There is only one high end with this item, being the Iggy Me outfit, which is self-explanatory. And now, the final item in this part as well as the series, being the triple mushrooms. To which there's only one high end with this item, being the Toadette Me Outfit, and that Me Outfit is also self-explanatory. So there we have it. Those are the explanations for the final part of the Skill Items Explained series. I do have to say, what a journey it has been going through every driver in Mario Kart Tour and explaining their skill items. Sure, some of the explanations were weird, but at least I did my best. Thank you so much for watching the video as well as the series. Until next time, see ya!